you can get away? Brace yourself. Quietly now. She'll treasure this good fortune. Devastating the fall. Broken into pieces and not a single soul around. This must be the way things ended. Come on, let's get moving. We're the only servants left. Are you sure about this? After we're gone, who's going to... Don't worry. I'll be fine. Your mother died early, and now that your father has left you, you're all that remains of this clan now. I suppose that this is the last time we will ever see each other. Master, please take care of yourself. Everyone, on board! Farewell. disbanded in my hands. But as my father said, I should not let life imprison me. Perhaps living the wanderer's life is what was meant for me after all. A blade embraces its dupe. You know, they say that visions represent the Archon's gaze. Hmm. But is being under an Archon's gaze really a blessing? I don't know. Maybe? I have traveled far and wide in Inazuma since leaving home, and seen many new things along the way. Though material luxuries have not been a feature of my journey, it has yet been a rich and rewarding one, with the boundless earth and sky to call my abode, and all the wonders of nature as my partners in poetry.
vision hunt decree. Hand over your visions now. This way. Hurry. Very well why people resist against the Vision Hunt Decree. Ambition is our power in its rawest form. We cannot live without it. When no other option remains, I will leave. The almighty Shogun is holding a duel before the throne. Unauthorized personnel are strictly forbidden from coming near. Wait, the kid has a vision? Get him! Don't let him get away! Thank <laughs> you. 
yourself. Time for takeoff. Show me what you've got! Soldiers, quick! I don't hold back! Busted! Things are about to get done. Here we go! Shake it, Amster! Look at you! Look at you, Amster! Busted! Quietly now. I did! Train hard. The life of a wanderer is full of hardships. I have asked myself these questions many times. Should I go? If so, where to? And by what means? Kadahara, that's you, right? Get on board, I'll get you out. But why are you helping me? I'm a wanted fugitive. Obviously the Yashiro... Uh, <clears throat> an anonymous financial sponsor wants you to get out safely. But there's only so much they can do. After this, you'll be on your own. My grandfather once traveled to Liwe. Well, my father read about Mondstadt, but where is the right place for me? The sky's getting dark. It looks like it's going to rain. Will the rain ever stop? Time 
for takeoff. Look at you, Foozel. or something? <laughs> Pirates? <laughs> you can call us that. So, you coming or not? Timing. I was just reflecting on my life so far, and I think I'm all up to date. So, what do you think of the Kaidahara clan's bonsai? <laughs> Indeed. Oh, this mirage is quite fascinating. It presents life like a stage play, with each scene more captivating than the last. They say that astrologists have seen it all. So if this mirage intrigued you, that says it was a worthwhile encounter. <clears throat> How fares thy mood? Main Fräulein inquires as to your present well-being, Lord Kazuha, hoping your heart is not too filled with sorrow. There's no way anyone could be cheerful after reliving all that. <laughs> you have a point. Thank you all for your concern. Fortunately, all those things are past and gone now. When I first saw this bonsai, I thought of the possibility that I needed to wait for you. Perhaps that was why I had to be here on my own. There was supposed to be a dead plant in that flower pot. However, there was nothing there. While we were separated, I had a lot of time to reflect. I think I finally understand now. The mirage is me. The empty flower pot represents the state of my heart. When the heart is clear, the world is too. And when the heart is unladen, the same is true. Clear and unladen. That describes how I feel right now. Although I would not say there are no regrets in this. To be unladen is also to be empty. That's why this bonsai appeared as part of my mirage. It gave me a chance to fulfill my wishes. I never realized that deep down in my heart, I also wanted to make my own bonsai. Have you finished doing what you wanted to do, Kazuha? Yes, you could say that. 
You saw my past self and said goodbye to him. Only when you witness my whole story does it become truly consigned to history. What really matters in life is not how strict we are with ourselves, but the connections we make along the way. There's no future for those who linger on the past. So please believe me when I say that I've already come a long way, and I intend to go further still. I often travel during storms, which means my eyes are often blinded by the rain. Many times, I couldn't even see what was right in front of me. One day, I finally reached the top of the mountain. I looked out with the clouds beneath my feet and only the gentle breeze murmuring in my ears. The highest mountain is a clear and enlightened heart. Here, there is no self, no hatred, no regrets, and no desires. Let's embark on a journey, for I am the breeze. We will meet again, no matter how far along the road. Life has just begun, and maybe the whole world can be my home. must be exhausted. Let's call it a day. <sighs> What's wrong? You don't look too good. Nothing. Perhaps today's arduous journey is making me feel slightly out of sorts. Hmm? <laughs> Main Fräulein, are you alright? Oz, curb thy curiosity. Uh, yes, Main Fräulein. See if I can find something for us to eat. Go ahead and rest if you're feeling tired. But anyone who's up to it is welcome to help out. I'll help. Oh, me too. Everyone's volunteering to help. Maybe we should too. <laughs> Whoa, hey. <laughs> I appreciate the enthusiasm, but uh, her highness looks kind of gloomy. Mona, you two seem close. Why don't you keep her company for a while? You noticed it too. I was going to bring it up with you while we were preparing the food. In that case, yes, just leave it to me. All right, we'll prepare the food. Yep, this should be enough. We can grill these. Next time we pass by one of those abandoned campsites, I'll see if they have a cooking pot. We'd have some more variety then. Wow, that's such a nice idea! You might not be a chef, Shenyan, but you sure do know how to keep the diners happy. Oh, shucks, Paimon. It's no big deal. Just doing what I can. Even the crewmates of the Alcor consider Shenyan someone they can rely on. We feel the same way about you too, Kazuha. <laughs> we sure do. Hmm. Well, then, as a trusted friend, I have something I'd like to talk about. From what you've been saying, that miraculous mirage seems to have been based on my life story to date. It felt just like a dream to me. In other words, you've always wanted to make your own bonsai? Could that be it? All that was a means of granting me something I wished for? And since this happened to me, does that mean it could happen to everyone else too? I agree. But I wonder whose mirage we'll encounter next. <laughs> I'm actually kind of looking forward to my own mirage, if it's a dream come true like you say. Wait, you actually want something like this to happen with you too? Oh heck, any mirage to do with me would probably be music related. <laughs> It'd be a good chance to showcase a few tunes. You mean you'd want to do a performance in there? <laughs> Why not? I don't think any self-respecting musician could stay silent on these islands. Just look at this place. So much confidence and optimism, Shinyan rocks! Oh, um, uh, Traveler, Paimon wants to try some of the fruit growing on my cliff over there. <laughs> Let's go pick some. Strange 
<sighs> Basically, lots of weird stuff today. Um, do you think we should tell Venti about it? There's no answer. That's weird. Why is he ignoring us? Maybe he got distracted. <gasps> or he forgot to bring the bomb to his performance. <gasps> or he got drunk and fell asleep under that huge tree. Hmm. Maybe we should try contacting him tomorrow. Traveler, Paimon. So here you are. Mona! <laughs> are you all done chatting with Fischl? <laughs> Close enough. She was a little downcast. I think it has something to do with the mirage we saw today. Fischl has been very excited about this trip from the start, but I have a feeling she doesn't want to see her own mirage. Why? It seems like this would be the kind of thing she really enjoys. I'm not sure at this stage, but I'll keep an eye on her. There's something else I wanted to tell you. I tried performing a divination again on the beach. My scry glass was still blurry, but I felt a force coming from within. I couldn't see its exact position, but I knew that it was changing. How could you tell that if you couldn't see it clearly? Hmm, how can I explain this concept to non-experts? Uh, oh, I know. It's like we're uh, sitting in a room and there's a crack in the walls. We don't know where it is, but everyone can feel the wind rushing in. Not only that, but the room is getting colder. Oh, Paimon gets it now! So you want to find where that crack is, right? You could say that. I need to see the crack first before deciding what to do next. When we set foot in this picture-perfect place, I never would have imagined we'd be dealing with such a mystifying occurrence. Fine, I suppose. I could use some help, though. What do you need us to do? Um... Um... <laughs> Nothing, actually. What? Are you underestimating us? Oh, no, I just realized that, although you never talk much, you do so much for us all, quiet. You're the companion everyone needs. I think we're all very relieved to have you here. Well, I know putting high expectations on you might give you some unwelcome pressure, but I like to think an astrologist's observations can yield insights outside the night sky alone. And noticing other people's strengths is a kind of observation, too. So, you just wanted to compliment us? Oh, I was simply stating facts, not complimenting anyone. That you're actually complimenting someone? Oh, stop smirking at me! I told you, it was an objective evaluation, not a compliment. Not a compliment! I'll keep observing the stars. Stay in touch, Traveler. 